Hey everybody, I'm Stefan from Red Slacklines and in this video I'd like to talk to you about frost knots in Highland webbings. During the last years I talked to many rope access professionals and many of them told me one particular sentence. If the safety of your rig depends on knot strength, you're doing it wrong. There are several knots in Highland rigs that are considered to be safe knots. The double figure eight for tying your leash into your harness. The double fisherman's for tying rope into a loop. Or the BFK for tying rope anchors. None of the knots I just showed you is as directly in the load path as the frost knot, which is widely used to connect the backup webbing to the anchor, mostly for one particular reason, to save a web lock, AKA some money or some weight. So this knot needs to be 100% safe because our lives as Highlanders absolutely depend on it. Out of pure curiosity, we conducted regular frost knot tests after our regular gear tests that we conduct in the lab anyways. Since all other tests found the strongest variation of the frost knot with the load strand tied on the outside layer, we focused on exactly this knot. One day something strange happened. The test results of some of the frost knots stayed far behind the expectations and far behind the results of other manufacturers who also tested frost knots. This made us even more curious about what happens there, so we dived a bit deeper into this issue. We tested more than 60 frost knots in different slackline webbings. The most important lesson, we found massive deviations in the results of frost knots. We found frost knots in slackline webbings breaking at about 12 kilonewtons, which in this case was only one third of the MBS of that particular webbing. Why is this important for us Highlanders? All slackline manufacturers and the broad Highline community agreed on an absolute minimum standard for Highline webbing safety. The ISA 41 safety standard for Highline webbings has a subsection called type C, which regulates the minimum breaking strength of soon loops in Highland webbings. This regulation states that the minimum breaking strength of such a connection needs to be stronger than 18 kN. Anything below that value is considered unsafe for highlining and comes with a significant risk of a complete failure of your highline rig. It's highly reasonable to set the exact same bar for termination knots in highline webbings. The problem, not only a fraction, but most of the frost knots we tested achieved results below that minimum threshold.
So it's safe to say frost knots in Highline webbings are not safe. They are a huge risk to the Highliners and should be avoided at any cost. Selectivity found a sleeve knot in their test which retained 98% of the MBS of that polyester webbing. So when I talked about our first results with some other people in the community, immediately the question came up, can sleeving the frost knots be a solution to this issue? We also tested some sleeved frost knots, but to be honest, the results were quite disappointing. Even the strong of these results were just slightly above the minimum threshold of 18 kN. We even found one sleeved frost knot that was weaker than its unsleeved companion. We at Red Slacklines did not conduct enough tests with sleeved frost knots yet to give a full recommendation about this, but the first test results also indicate a wide deviance in the test results. So statistically it appears quite logical to assume that there will also be many knots far weaker than the ones that we found until now. After breaking more than 60 frost knots and evaluating the results, only one option appears reasonable to us right now. We strongly advise not to use any kind of knots in the main load path of your webbings anymore. They are considered to be unsafe. We strongly advise to use either soon terminations, soon connections or web locks to terminate your webbings. Anything else will not work in a safe way and might put your life at high risk. This is all we know about frost knots and highline webbings right now. We learned a lot. I hope you also learned a lot. Stay safe and keep the balance.